Hi, welcome to my piano lesson video. My name is Masako. I've already posted several learning videos in a lecture form. This time, however, is a recording of my real piano lesson and you will see how do I work with a student or how a learning process could be. As for the content, I wanted to focus on the technique, so I've just picked up some short segments which might be interesting. There are so many different ways of piano playing and piano teachings, but as a matter of fact, all the same in which style you play, your piano playing will be much easier. If you could control better the tense and the release of the muscles, just like a sports activity. If you get stuck in a stiffness and can't loosen yourself, everything will get more difficult as it usually is. And you would think, why it doesn't work? Actually, I can play much better. An overtension blocks fluency, mobility and coordination. Your effort will be not effective. With this video, I would like to give you some ideas how to reduce or release the unnecessary tension quickly while you are practicing. It helped me quite a lot and I hope it will help also you to develop your innate ability. Let's get started. Today's piece is a study in A flat major by Chopin. The pianist has flexible and elastic hands, though also for her the combination of the sixths and octaves is exhausting. She says 
She feels her hand getting gradually stiff and unmovable. This study demands the hand permanently widespread, that makes the problem. I suggest her to practice in a tour group and in each short pause to relax the hand. So the hand could learn to release quickly and automatically. To recover the flexibility, you can practice to circulate the thumb and the wrist in a coordination. I demonstrate it in an exaggerated motion. If you get used to do it, the motion will be smaller. According to my teaching experience, for the first time, most of the piano players will get a certain difficulty to bring the thumb underneath the palm. But it is a good exercise to make the thumb movable. And when the thumb is set free, the whole hand will be released. In this part, to hit the right key E flat is not difficult, but the repeating the same pattern leads us to stiffen not only the hand but also the arm and shoulder. I show her how to practice in an anti stiffening way. Namely, play the bass note with the thumb. In this way, we instinctively circle the joint of the shoulder, and that opens the breast and releases the shoulders. We can play more freely. For a complete performance, you can, of course, get back to the fifth finger. I myself prefer to play with the thumb in such case. Don't fix the fingers. Once you get stiff, it's not easy to loosen them. You can learn to loosen the hand while you are practicing this part. The freedom of the thumb is the point. Don't stick the thumb on the key. Instead, each time release the thumb from the key. So your hand will be staying flexible. Ja, 
The wrist got into an unnatural posture. Keep attention not to holding the wrist too high. And don't forget to loosen the hand each time. Now, back to the beginning of the piece. I'm trying to show the better angle of the hand, but maybe too exaggerated. And so on. You can practice various articulations in the same principle. With the time, your hand will get used to release quickly. The staccato part, you must not lift up the fingers, just let the keys coming up by themselves. Please try it by yourself. Thank you for watching and bye for now.